Well, hi everyone. I bet you didn't think you'd be looking at a rat trap on the 4th of July. So, <laughs> anyway, a couple of years ago I, need, I had need of these, one of these, several of these, and I thought, you know, these things, they just want to break your fingers every time you ever set the darn things. And there's just got to be a safe way to, safer way to do it. And I looked all over YouTube and for some reason nobody's out there and I came up with this really safe way to set these traps and I was like why am I the guy figuring this out it's pretty darn easy so here's what you do and you need one tool you need a pair of pliers standard old slip joint pliers you know I put them in the you know in the more open position and all you have to do of course you're gonna have to pull that bale back regardless and that's always the tough the scary part so you get it back there it is Throw the bale over there temporarily and grab that b spring with a pair of pliers. Look at that. And the good part is, is you can vary the tension with those pliers and keep your fingers out of the way. Then go ahead, set your trap, let the tension off slowly, grab it by the sides, you know, keep your fingers out of there. And it's set. Yay, that's what you want. And then, you know, there, it's off. Pretty easy stuff. And of course, you know, we have to go back and, you know, release the, release the tension. The other obvious suggestion is, if you're going to set one of these things, set it out there where you're going to, you know, its final resting place is going to be. Don't set it in the garage and then carry it all over the place. So I hope you all had a good 4th of July and, uh, have a little more safety with your fingers. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.